Welcome to our How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, they're scaring you. It's a big crowd. Yeah, it's a big crowd. So are they scaring you? Yeah, I'm intimidated. Oh, it's a piece of what's intimidating. It's a piece of what's intimidating. It's not my piece. Okay, so th there's a lot that happens behind that mask, so just yeah. chill, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So let's get to know you a bit, Tabo. Um, just tell us who you are, um, yeah, where you grew up. <laughs> yeah, so just tell us who you are, um, you know, where you grew up and how you grew up. Okay, guys, I'm Tabo Tumbini, and I'm from Tabazim in Bogo. Um, so my growing up, it was quite chilled. Um, Primary school, after primary school, I went to boarding school. It was a major adjustment, the first major adjustment for me. And then after that, moved back home and then yeah, finished that. And I was at home, finished my high school at home. High school was quite chilled for me, but I think I could have done better. But circumstances, you know, I, I think all of you guys can relate. We, we have the potential, it's just that the circumstances that we grew up in um, were like difficult, but now you have the chance, you know. So yeah, that's why just keep pushing, just keep pushing, and it's like, yeah. Okay, so you grew up where in Tabazimbi? Tabazimbi, I grew up in Tabazimbi, is such a small place, we don't yeah. really have like sections in Tabazimbi. We grew up in Tabazimbi. Okay, yeah. okay, who's from Tabazimbi? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I think um, there are some people who relate to that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might be seeing um, Umaki, right? No, yeah. I don't recognize him. Yeah, but <laughs> now you recognize him. Okay, cool. So coming to high school now, then, um, um, what kind of a person were you in high school? You know, were you like the nerd who studies a lot? You know, because your marks, I mean, they speak for themselves. You know, were you just studying a lot? Or were you those troublesome ones who just made noise in class the entire time? <laughs> You know, what kind of a person were you in general in school? Uh, yeah, I was the nerd, I was the nerd. I was always the nerd in school. I didn't, I wasn't really disruptive, I was obedient. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I worked hard, I was always a top achiever in my school. But okay. clearly it wasn't enough. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, uh, okay, cool. So you're always a top achiever. So yeah. grade 8, grade, grade eight, 9, nine. you're always in those top 10 yeah, lists. Yeah, I was right? always there. Okay, so were you fighting for the first spot or? Uh, I was fighting for first spot, but okay. couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. Oh, but you were somewhere there. Oh, somewhere. As long as you were there, I, I mean, I fully <laughs> <care. laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so when you were in high school, then, Tabo, where did you envision yourself um, in future? What did you see yourself doing? Okay, so the first plan I had was to become a lawyer. Okay. So I envisioned myself being a lawyer, mm -hmm. but. I think it was a dream that I got because of the content I was absorbing. So I loved a lot of courtroom drama. Um, but were you, were you watching Judge Judy or something? Judge Judy, oh. everything, Malcolm, yeah. yeah. I loved um, the courtroom drama and it just made me decide that I wanted to be a boy. Okay. And that's where I saw myself like, being in the corporate world. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is you're saying that you were a nerd, you were always in the top 10, whatever, um, um, but you said that was not enough, you know, why do you say so? Okay, so after getting my results, metric results, mm -hmm. I had applied to quite a few universities mm -hmm. and I got rejected in some of them. And then I was on a waiting list for some of them, so it was so... Demotivated. It didn't plan out as you wanted it to. Okay. Yeah. So, like, while you were at school, were you um, exposed to quite a number of careers, to quite a number of fields, or because you know what? I mean, when we grow, um, our parents will tell us about being a lawyer, being a doctor, being a nurse, or, or a teacher. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, were you also? Um, only exposed to those, or, 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 or you knew, you know, a greater domain of field. Yeah, so I was privileged enough to have parents who actually let me explore. They, like, mm -hmm. they didn't enforce anything on me. Okay. Everything that I'm doing right now is purely because of my choice. Okay. They didn't have any influence on me. And I was always also privileged enough to be in a school that actually 
organize mm -hmm. career days mm -hmm. and expos. So they had universities come to us yeah. and actually tell us about the courses they offer and actually explain the various careers that you can actually have. Okay. So the classroom days. Okay, cool. So being a top achiever that you were, eh? um, how did you hear about Schemathers then? Schemathers, I heard about it from the lady at Sayok, mm -hmm. the, the community development mm -hmm. in Kawazimbi. Yeah. So she was, she's a close friend of my mother. And so after she found out that I couldn't get into university, mm -hmm. she let me know about the program and said, how about I do that instead of taking a gap year because I was planning on taking a gap year yeah. and actually figuring out what to do. But then she told me about the program and I said, yeah, sure, why not? And then, and then, then you came to the yeah, program yeah. and then, dude, you shined, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So that's, that is quite interesting. So I just want, I'm going to give to the students now to okay, obviously sure. ask you questions. So they know you a little bit better now, mm -hmm. right? So you're not, you're not a robot to them. You're yeah. not, you're not, um, a 90s guy, they, they know that, oh, he's from Tabazim, but I wasn't from Tabazim. Yeah. So they're going to ask you questions, right? So if there's any questions that, you know, um, I'm intimidating to you, you know, um, just, just signal either to Natina yeah. or myself, or just get rid of the spirit. Right? <laughs> okay, yeah. so basically, um, um, so when you got accepted, obviously, in Schematas, um, was your plan still to do law? Or maybe um, I just want to understand where the mindset changed, you know, from LLB to something, you know, in, in the science. science field. Okay, so yeah, coming into the math is my plan was to say, okay, I'm gonna upgrade my marks and then I'm gonna do law. Mm -hmm. But then I got here, and then the, the lecturers just made the maths and physics so easy. It was so easy to understand that I developed an interest in it. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know more about the things they were teaching us about. Yes. And then the human body also is so intriguing how it works and functions with the mind also. And that's where I just found the, the interest to go into sciences mm -hmm. because what they covered in the trick is just the surface level of what actually goes on yeah. in science. And that's yeah, that's how I got into science. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, guys, the floor is yours. Um, let's start with Erica. You know, <laughs> so she's gonna stand up and ask the question. And guys, please, there is no questions that is there is no question that is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. So when someone asks a question, don't feel like oh my god, you could have just go with that, right? Um, he's here now. He he was so excited to see you. Just don't mind his face that the face is not showing. He was so excited to be waiting to see you guys. So he's here now and ready to answer to answer your questions, right? Um, so Erica, please, you can go first. How did you deal with rejection from other institutions? I did rejection. Um, I'm going to do it without them. That's, that's what, that's what, that was my thoughts. I'm going to do it without them. I have dreams and they are not the only road to my dreams. And that's the mentality I had. Because when one door closes, another opens. That's how it works. So you should never like a failure shouldn't be the end. It's just a hurdle. Okay. It's a challenge to show you that um, it's a challenge that you should to for you to show yourself that you actually want the dream. You want to achieve what you say you want to achieve. And it's, yeah. I hope I did answer you. Yeah. <laughs> um another one, Eric. Um, um how did you deal with the online um studying? Online, yeah. Okay, it all started with getting a routine going. Like, if you have a routine, it becomes easy. So it's like taking a shower. When you take a shower, you've taken a shower so many times that you don't think of what you actually do. You don't say, okay, I'm going to get in the shower, open the water, take my shower, so whatever. You just do it. So if you're getting a nice routine going online and like, Making it a habit to say, I'm going to sit down now and you're doing that every single day. So you have to be disciplined also to say, I'm going to sit down at this time every single day and I'm going to work. That would make sense. Okay. And how did you deal with procrastination? Procrastination. <laughs> That's a big one. 
at the end of the day, you should ask yourself, did I do enough? If the answer is no, then you make sure that the next day you catch up. And then it's going to be a habit to say, I don't want to um, catch up tomorrow, so I'm going to do my work today. Because it's honestly not a lot of work. If you space it out between the days, it's going to be so much easier, as opposed to doing it in the last minute. It's impossible to do that. So if you're like spacing it out nicely, you, sh you shouldn't overwhelm yourself with work. Just space it out nicely, it's going to work, definitely. Two, three hours a day of intense studying, it's going to work. What kept you studying? Sorry? What kept you to continue studying and what you Um. Okay, I have something called a why. Why? A why. A why. So, ask yourself the question, why are you missing marks? You have a, a, an answer, you want to upgrade your marks, right? And then after that, why do you want to upgrade your marks? You want to get into varsity, right? Why do you want to get into varsity? You want to answer these whys until you get to the root reason of why, why you are actually here. The dream that you actually have. You're going to get to it, and then once you think of that why, it's going to be easy to study because you know that, okay, if I don't put in the 1% every day to get that dream, I'm not going to get it. So it should scare you when you say, it should scare you to leave your books and not study because then you know that you're one step further from your dream. But if you study every day, then just get closer and closer to your dream. It's going to be small steps, but in moving forward, at least, you're not in the same place. So just have the why. Yeah. How was the first month here in Pepinash? The first month? The first month was, it was exciting. You know? It was exciting. Um, away from home, no parents, no supervision, facility. But yeah. We didn't have a lot of like, I don't know, maybe say freedom, but it was nice. I enjoyed it. We met a lot of nice people here, and the environment was such and so amazing. I enjoyed it every single day of it. And yeah. And um, have you ever gotten a platform at the parent is disciplined? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. No, I didn't get it. Then. Class, but I got one when we were playing soccer. Hey, it's not you gave us. We played soccer and we didn't have our masks on, and yeah, I got one. <laughs> so I think we must get one now, eh? Now, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I only had one. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, who's the next person? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, what do you study degree for math and physics? Okay, I'm a On a daily basis. On a daily basis. How you study overcast and Okay. Are you asking in terms of like preparing for an exam or? Throughout the year. Throughout the year. Okay, so what you want to do is, I don't know if Dr. Lawrence from the lecture still do this, but you, they will give you work. Um, so let's say tomorrow you're doing um, static equilibrium. Today you have to prepare for tomorrow's lesson, right? You still get, you guys still do that. Yeah. yeah. So you, I did that. You make sure you do that effectively, and then the next day you can actually engage, right, more effectively in the lecture, in the, in the class. So I will do that and I'll make sure I do it properly and do the homework. Um, sometimes working with other people also helps, but I prefer to study on my own. I believe that if you want to learn something properly, do it on your own. Because if you're working with someone else, they're going to explain it to you. You're going to understand it there and then. But then when you're on your own, that's when you struggle enough to like grasp the concept. And then in terms of exams, 
I did a lot of past papers. So like in grade 12, like there's so many so much past papers. Like we're in the age of information, even if you get don't have them in hard copy, the internet is a wonderful place, guys. Use it. Like so past paper I did past papers and how I did them is I would do them question by question. So let's say I do a math paper, I'll start with question one. Do question one and then mark it. Wherever I get stuck, I refer to my notes, uh, a YouTube video, textbook, whatever. Whatever you need to do to make sure you understand the concept. And what I also did is time it myself. So you actually create an exam environment for yourself to, to study. So when you when you actually get to the exam, it's it's, it's something you've already done before. You don't get scared, you don't get, like, get nervous, you finish on time. And uh, um, chemistry also, because there's a lot of theory. But I did, I applied the same technique to all of the subjects because they're quite similar and there's not a lot of content as opposed to like the work I'm doing this year. Like in grade 12, it's, it's quite, quite small. So past papers and Space, space out your work, space out your work. You don't want to start one week before exams. How do you manage the revision on each topic? Sorry? How do you manage the revision on each topic so that you don't forget the work you are doing? You make sure you do a paper every day. You do a paper every day. The whole paper. The whole paper. Spisa is shocked, guys. <laughs> no, but listen, check. You have, you have met in physics only, right? So a paper, it's three hours. So that's six hours you have to sacrifice. Mm. Is it a lot? Yes, yeah, so we did it from class at five o'clock. Uh -huh. So six hours to five o'clock would be eleven o'clock at night. And then we still have homework. Studying, to okay, I guess, I guess then you should focus on the topic you're currently busy with. So let's say, what are you guys busy with now? Chemical equilibrium. Okay, then you make sure you do questions on chemical equilibrium every day. And then as you move on to another topic, you choose something else and then you make sure you do it every day. But then you should also need time on like, the weekend to do everything on day because it, your brain forms neural pathways. It becomes easy. It becomes repetitive. <laughs> Doing it, you gonna master it. How do you overcome the self doubt, especially with you? Like, Man. do you ever doubt yourself? Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, you just not grasping something. Yeah. You try and you try and how do you overcome that? Like, to push yourself further. Um, I trusted my lecturers. I trusted them because when I came here, they, they told us that like, whatever you know right now, forget it and let's start fresh. So if you trust someone else that they will teach you, they should actually be able to teach you nicely. And so self-doubt I don't know, man. Like, you'd have to, like, undergo a, a mental shift then to, to tackle um, challenges like that. Because the self doubt, I think, is the root cause to the deeper one. I, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but if you're doubting yourself, that means you know that you don't understand this, or you know that you didn't study enough for this. So if you're doubting yourself, you should just go back to the theory and study it again until you become confident in it. And were you one of the students that doesn't see the light at night? Sorry? Were you also one of the students that doesn't see the light all that night? As oh, no, I don't sleep. Uh, I sleep again. No, no. <laughs> like, it's important. It's, it's so important. Get your sleep. You don't want to <laughs> work until you have the morning and then get because like as humans we've signed a social contract that says 
you work in the day and sleep in the evening. So if you're studying till, I don't know, at this late, we consider it past 12, right? And you're studying until that time. You should be getting about eight hours of sleep. So if you're gonna get eight hours, eight hours of sleep after twelve, what time are you gonna be waking up? You have classes. You have, you have classes you have to attend also. So it's not realistic. Make sure you wake up in the morning and you're working hard during the day so that you don't actually get to work through the evening. Yeah. Um, I would just um, like to highlight a question about self-doubt, right? Um, the way the question was written, it was, um, it was like, how did you um, overcome self-doubt because of your metric here, right? As you, as you said that um, your, your, you being a nerd helped, but um, it was not enough, yeah. you know? So let's say, for example, you had a goal that you wanted to get a 99, right? And then you happened to get a 98. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So basically, um, coming into a space now where different people have got different marks, right? Others got 70s, others got 40s, others got 60s yeah. and stuff like that. Let's say the one who got a 60, for example. Um, what do you think can be the best way for that person to overcome that doubt of knowing that maybe, um, let's say, for example, she is so vocal. No, guys, you know, I just got an average of, I don't know, 89, you know, and then you are thinking, oh my God, I mean, mine was 60, mm -hmm. you know? So how, how do you think you can deal with that, you know, um, uh, appropriately? Yeah, it will all start with not looking at other people. Mm -hmm. I think first, you have to look at yourself and what you want. Mm -hmm. So it, because if you look at other people, you know, it's going to be demotivating. So you focus on yourself and actually think about what you want and put in the, the things you have to do to actually get there. So even if you're like doubting yourself, it's going to happen if you're doubting yourself, but there should actually be a reason for you to push even harder mm -hmm. so that you can get past that doubt. Because okay. I think goals in their nature don't want to be achieved. So they will be like, yeah. Yeah. Sorry? Oh, no, I was like, leave. <laughs> yeah. Goals in the nature don't want to be achieved because they're hard. The, the start is going to be hard. It's definitely going to be the hardest part. But once you get momentum going, it's going to get easier. The doubt is going to go away. You're going to get, you're going to get the results and you're going to get, start pushing. Okay, cool. I just want to also um, look back at what you said about past papers, yeah. you know, because um, some of the students right now are going through the most because they are thinking of where they're going to get that six hours, right? Yeah. Um, um, at their state currently, they have not covered the entire yeah, syllabus, right? Yes. So when you were doing your three hour, six hours, whatever, were you doing even the topics that you would have not yet covered? No, no, no. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So now it's different, but mm -hmm. at this stage, it gets to when they cover the entire syllabus, then it will be required that we do everything. So okay. for now, we should just focus on the, the stuff they've done. Yeah. Okay, so the, the six hours was when? After you guys covered it? Yeah, the whole semester. Just not um, the first semester. No, not the first semester. Yeah, so don't worry, guys. Even yeah, the the last week. Week. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. But you, you actually um, see that it is very much important that the work that you have covered can actually cover those questions yeah. in past papers. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I get that. Okay, guys. Um, any other questions? Ken, don't be shy. Oh, um, okay. Um, we started for this. Did you stay? Like you just did. Did you stay this side or that side? I was this side. <laughs> Second floor. Second floor. Yeah. Down here. Yeah. Uh, Last three. <laughs> oh, my good. It's a good. <laughs> Um, we started the business just day. Like, you just did. Did you stay this side or that side? I was this side. <laughs> Second floor. <laughs> Second floor, yeah. down there. Yeah. Uh, Last room, down there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my room. It's a good room. Yeah, I was there. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> um, did you guys have like a physical copy 
of like your schedule or like a schedule on your phone that you follow? Yeah, I, I had it, I had a schedule like, that I wrote out. Um, don't you guys have academic matrices? Yeah. Yes. Didn't you do something time management? Yeah. yeah. Then you should have one. Why don't you have one? It works. It actually works. So I did the schedule and I had it and it was there upon my wall. So yeah, I followed it. You have to be disciplined and follow it. I don't know. Because I asked somebody got like April 1st last. Yeah. So before that, in the February, you knew that you knew everything. Like, <laughs> like, like everything. Yeah, my goal was 100. Like you just knew everything. <laughs> Yeah, you see that one question that yeah. you're thinking about because you're going to do the past papers and you're going to see, okay, this is one question. Yeah. So then you can focus your efforts on that one question for maybe a day. And it shouldn't take you longer than a day to actually grasp that concept. If you have to start it from the beginning, then do so. Ensure that you actually understand that question and you're going to get it. You only learn when you want to know. You only learn? You only learn when you want to know. Interesting. Let me just ask a question. Um, it's, it's quite interesting that you stayed in the same room as Ken, right? So, um, didn't you have internet problems as well? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you? So, was your, was your age room connecting? Yeah, I just did. Perfectly well. Yeah. In your room. Okay. 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 Because the reason I'm asking, the reason I'm asking this question is because were you always on the internet? No, not really. Okay, yeah. so did you download stuff and then you, you did them offline? Yeah. Okay, so what, how would you advise people who stay maybe in those rooms, right? Who do not necessarily, you know, have strong internet the entire time, right? How would you advise them? Because, you know, it's so easy to capitalize on things and say, I did not get to this point because of one, two, and three. <laughs> So basically, um, since you were um, studying offline, most of the things, how would you advise those people? Okay, so I'm guessing it's a, a matter of having access to like videos maybe, or past papers you want to download. You'd have to do it the day, you, you shouldn't say you need the papers when you're actually going to study. You should have a plan, 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 plan it out and then when you know that, okay, you're going to be on campus, then you should download everything and store it. And then when you're here, it's there, ready to be accessed. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't, that shouldn't be an excuse, mm -hmm. actually. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, um, I'm Sifiso. So I have a question. Um, I see a lot of people saying, like, about doubt, or doubt, mm -hmm. doubt for some stuff. So, have you ever experienced being overconfident about some stuff? Then you just relax too much about it, like telling yourself, no, I know this thing, mm -hmm. I know that thing, so I'm not going to look at it for now. Okay. Have you ever, like, how do you deal with it? Like, do you go back to them again? Or, like, the stuff that you know that you're in control, like, yeah. you sometimes feel like you're in control, like, most of the stuff. Then you just, like, leave them for a while. But then sometimes they, they blow back, uh -huh. you know. How did you, did you ever experience it? And if you did, how, how? Yeah, I also experienced it when you actually, you're doing something and you think you understand it, yeah? and then it turns out that you don't. Is that what you say? Uh, not entirely, but yeah, go on. No, no, no. no uh, I put, put, put it expl explicitly, it's feasible. Okay, right. let's say um, calculus, right? Um, yeah. I understand calculus. I tell myself, I do all the past papers. I'm good with it, I understand yeah. most perfectly. Yeah. Then you tell yourself like, okay, I know everything. Um, you know, with time you like almost like to give it out and focus on the other stuff. And when time comes, um when you try to look at it again, they, they are still there, but there's there is one thing that's yeah. missing. Like you said, um, um your brain from similar yeah, patterns. Yes. Yeah. You know. So exactly the, 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 that's where repeat, repeating and studying every day comes in. Because if you're doing it every day then it won't 
go away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you should make sure that you actually do it every day so that it doesn't go away. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone else? Um, yes. So tell me, did you actually memorize it? Like, so memorize? No, no, no. Um, you actually should think of um, applications in three board. Like, why does this thing matter and how is it used? So that, let's say you're doing something and then they ask you that question. You should actually have a real world scenario in your head of this thing happening and breaking it down into pieces. Because, I mean, you can try and memorize it, but then it won't help because they might answer, ask it in a different way in the question paper. That's the thing with theory. They can ask you in so many different ways, but they'll ask be asking you one thing. So just understand what you call. Okay. Can I just go thinking, like Dr. Lawrence always tells us to critically think about something, but that also causes us to overthink uh-huh. some um, answers that we have. So how did you like balance between critical thinking and overthinking? Um, you should see the pattern in the papers, if I can make any sense. So, take for example physics. Um, the, the paper, this, the way it is structured doesn't change. You're going to have your Newton's laws, and in the Newton's laws, you're going to have a definition. The definition after the definition, you're going to have the three body diagram. Three body diagram, you're going to have something you have to do with a simultaneous equation. And after that, you're going to have to use something and get another thing. So you should just see the link and the pattern that is drawn. Because read your question first and then work from there. I have a question. Um, I think you got 98 for physics, right? And then the math is 91. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think that um, 9% and 2%? What do you think? Maybe you must get a minus sign, a comma, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> some, some things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, yeah. I was really confident going into my exam. I, like, I studied hard. Like, what do you wish um, you have done differently or wish you had done more? Or, like, okay, you see, there's only regrets. I don't have any regrets because I'm satisfied with my marks, even though I didn't get the hundreds, but <laughs> I've got the age of us too. I have a bursary. Those were my main goals. And so, yeah, man. I don't know how else I can put it for you, but. No <laughs> questions. Um, okay. I just want to ask this thing, so you know, how, how did you feel about cheating times? Like, how did you manage the guiltiness? Maybe when you had children and that, and then you feel like you have to do my work. Like, how did you manage that? How long was the cheating time? And how was it? Chilling time. <laughs> but chilling time when you actually need chill. Right, and then so. stay away from books, that thing. Okay. Just. <laughs> it depends what you're doing when you're relaxing. So, if relaxing would mean um, hindering you from getting getting back to the world, then you're not relaxing. You're just letting yourself. So, my relaxing time. So I I draw. So I would draw, that was my relaxing time. And then, other than that, I would study. Uh, what, what do you do? You draw like SpongeBob or something? I'm studying. Okay. Yes. We said, yeah. we said one should get eight hours of sleep, right? Yes. Did you sleep eight hours? Yes, I mean she has sleep eight hours. Ten oh, o'clock so hours in bed. Wait, yeah. every day. Every day, ten o'clock. Every day, ten o'clock. You wake up at what time? Five o'clock. Oh, yeah. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. It's eight. Yeah. Ten, eleven, twelve. Hey, it's eleven o'clock. She's coming.
<laughs> okay, but I, I wasn't ex um, going to sleep at 10. By 10, I was already in bed. By 9.30, maybe I'm going to bed. Yeah, by 5. And then you work at 5. Do I work at 5? No, at 5, I would go to gym. How would your typical day look like? Sorry? How would your typical day look like? My typical day, like my routine. Okay, so I'd wake up 5 a.m. and I'd go to the gym, have like an hour session, and then I'd be back here, have breakfast. After breakfast, oh, let's say we were in classes, so from there, I actually went to while we were busy with classes, I was gymming in the afternoon. So I'd wake up at 5 a.m. and then I just have a chill moment, like relaxed. Um, I'd go through my work again, maybe just read through the notes, prepare for my class, breakfast, and then we have classes until 5, right? And then after that, I'd go to gym. But coming back, I would work. And then after we had covered the syllabus, I went to the gym at 5 o'clock in the morning. And then after that, study until lunch. So I'll do a question paper from then to lunch. And then after lunch, I'll do another question paper. So before, I'll start with maths, and then I'll do physics after lunch. And then after that, then I'll chill. So I did that every day. <coughs> Two question papers a day. Were you also studying during the independent session? Sorry? Were you also studying during the independent session? What are those like? Mm -hmm. Like you have and then one hour free and then two days, one hour free, three hours. Well, like when you're like attending and you have yeah. free periods. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you always have work, you know, because you didn't finish the syllabus, so there's always something to do. Whether it's catching up or finishing up, or getting far ahead, there's always something to do. Um, so like, uh, could you please like tell us the course you're doing and like how you knew this one was for you? Yeah. How you decided you know I'm applying first choice, yeah. So. <laughs> um I I didn't know it was for me, but I it, it's it's something that I can use to branch out into a lot of things that might interest me. So it's a it's a very versatile degree. Mm -hmm. I can go into a lot of disciplines mm -hmm. through this degree. What, what is it? What is it? I'm now PSC Human Life Sciences. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so was, was it your first choice? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, with the research that we have done, yeah, uh, were you only exposed to it when you were already in Stellenbosch Bosch or you just knew, let's say, from um, 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 I don't know, metric, you know, late metric that you just wanna, or were you just exposed to it while you're already here? The, the science. Yeah, human no, life science. No, I, I found out about it when I was here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so, what type of field um, do you think you can branch out to with human life science? Okay, so I'm doing the psychology and biology stream. So from that, I can go into genetics, I can go into psychology, physiology, I can even go into medicine if I want to. And from medicine on its own, I can specialize in a lot of things. Okay. And in psychology also, there's so many things, like fields in psychology, there's like um, neuropsychology. So there's a, the medical field, it's, it's quite broad. There's a lot of problems that we're solving. Okay, interesting. Okay, any other questions? Feel free, guys. Yes, Kia. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. Yes, Kia. How did you deal with um, headaches and stress? <laughs> 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 What's stressing you? What's stressing you? Kia is going through the most. Sorry? What's the reason? Mm, everything. The books, you don't have to do a lot of work. We are writing, doing all that sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. So, 
the fact that you're writing in four weeks is stressing. <laughs> How? What can you do? What can you do in these four weeks to make sure that you're ready? Um, no, no. Practice. Yeah, you make sure you make sure you practice, and of course now you'd be stressed because um, you know like four weeks. Like four weeks is it's, it's actually a lot. It's a lot. It's not. It isn't. You. <laughs> it's not. It isn't. Okay, guys, just calm down. You said most of your day. <laughs> most of your day, you can speak. Okay, I was saying four weeks is not enough because we spend most of our days school at the education building, and then, like he said, we have to get eight hours of sleep. Now we have like a few hours to work during the during the the week, and then car we can like we get hours which would not really help us to like. Me. What do you mean yeah. on the weekend? Like because weekend. Okay, we can we get more weekends off. Like, like we get more weekends than we we get more hours on weekends than we do yeah. during the week. Yeah. So that those hours they're not enough, man. Like if if we like, don't love and see us, if you but if we like if if how much would how much would be enough? Hmm? How much would be enough? Okay, mm -hmm. enough would be if you see when we did not have independent sessions there, mm -hmm. and then we get our hours, we get our classes through, mm -hmm. we done with them, and then we get maybe from one or twelve, and then we use hours to work and do and the hours on the weekend. Right. Then that would be enough. Okay, guys. Yeah, so I see the problem. So mm -hmm. what's happening? You see the problem? Yeah, I see. You see the problem? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here now in Ski Mathers, ne? they're preparing you for varsity. It's hectic in varsity. Yes. We, we have exams, and then we don't stop with classes when you have exams. Oh. Can I ask? Yes. Classes in varsity are way different. What do you mean? Like, you, you can get like two, yeah? <laughs> you can get like three, two classes a day. Okay, let me not say classes then. Let me say the content of the work that you have to get through in order to prepare for your exam. It's a lot. And if you had to space it out, it would you should be able to you should do it from eight to five. That's when you should be working on covering the content in order to be able to prepare for your exam. Um, just, 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 just to, um, um, Latina, you said, you spoke something about the mindset. I think to... he spoke a lot about, in terms of, you have what you have now, you understand? Mm -hmm. You need to change your mindset in terms of, I have this time, now I need to apply it, and it's enough time for me to get where I want. You already have given up by saying, I don't have enough time. You're already panicking before you even go to it. You're panicking while you're studying because time is running out, time is running out. And that's going to affect your stress level because you're stressing now. I don't have enough time. Because people are talking too much in class. Instead of listening to your parents, they're thinking, I need to go, I need to go into people. This person is talking too much. I'm hungry. Uh, you're not there. You're not where you need to be. He exercises. Sleep is important for concentration. Especially in the exams, I realized first day when I didn't sleep, in the exams I'd be so stressed and I didn't answer things. The, the moment I started getting enough sleep, I'm able to, to concentrate more. You need to be present. You're here now, you work. Like he says, if you're sleeping, you're sleeping. He's able to sleep properly. But if you're studying, you're there fully, you're present. You understand? This is the time we have. What is worrying going to help you? You understand? You have enough time. You have enough time. Tell yourself that because what else are you gonna get up to? Are you yeah. gonna change the <laughs> <laughs> like, What are you gonna do? You know? It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't help you complain now about the time because they're not gonna give you more time. You should just make do with what you have.
Do you, do, do you get it? <laughs> and, also, and also, Dr. Lawrence wants you must be in class all the time. That's why you must be absent. You know that? Uh, yes, yes, yes. How was your first year? How was the training? I had a, a lot of reality checks. Yeah. Um, my marks in the trip, it didn't matter on the first year. It doesn't matter. It's a whole different ball game. Yeah. Uh, because I wasn't the only one who got a lot of high marks. There were people who got hundreds. Now we're all in this one place, and it's tough, but you just gotta keep moving. Yeah. Okay, there's another question there. Okay, um, I wanna ask, uh, like, uh, how did schematas help you to survive the first day? Like, what are the things that you feel like yeah, schematas help you in this place? Like one of those things that you can share, yes. That we have maybe see whether they are even better than the other street groups, but um the the classes that you have from eight to five, it, it, it helps. It definitely helps because now I'm used to it. As opposed to other people who are coming straight from grade twelve and going into first year, they're struggling compared to because they used to be the eight to two working thing. And now I'm already used to the eight to five. So it's easier for me. And I know that okay, eight to five is a norm here. And um I must have it. So like embrace also the eight to five working of eight to five class and then studying until late. Well not actually late, but yeah. What okay. else? Um <coughs> You guys still have a curfew here. Yeah. What time is it? Eight. 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 Yeah, it's good, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, eight. Yeah, yes. If you're in by eight, then it's, it's actually nice. What's also yours at eight? No, What's mine was at eight. Mine was, mine was six. Yeah. Was it six? Yeah, six it, was, it was in the beginning uh, phase. Mm-hmm. The beginning phase. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, would you honestly say, honestly, would you honestly say our roles are straight, say our two straight? No, it's you're not straight at all. No, you don't. They're not straight. They're just trying to enforce habits. Yes, Google? Um, I want to ask, um, did you have like, any support system? And how did it feel like being away from home? Because it's really tough being here, like all alone. No one is here for you. You just do your thing and then get your mouse and go. And your family is not around you the way you used to. Your mother coming, making me food. Are you fine? How's Matt? <laughs> and then you're just like, you, you're on your own. You have a roommate. She's doing her own thing. You're doing your own thing. So, how, how did it feel? And the support system, how was it when you see Martin? My support system. So, I kept my circle small. So, um, I befriended like two guys that I was actually close with, that I would say I was close with. And I made sure it was people who had the same vision. So you have to be selfish with your time. This is another time to be selfish, right? You can be like looking at other friends and saying, okay, this is group work now. There's no group work to this life thing now. Be selfish with your time and make sure you are with people who are like-minded people who actually want the same goal. It helps because when you're with them and you're feeling demotivated, if they if you have the same vision, the same goals, they can give you that boost that you actually need. Yeah, sometimes you don't feel well or like you're stressed. They'll like you you'll be in their company and they'll be speaking about the things that you actually speak about on a daily basis. 
and so you just get back into the flow of life. And like exercise helped me a lot. I, I really recommend it. What kind of exercise? So I lifted like weights. Weight. I lifted weights, but when I was at home, I didn't have weights. I would jog. Mm -hmm. So. Um, the question I've been asking to ask you. Um, see, I had a friend. Right? I would explain things to him. Uh -huh. and we understand we like, go through treatments together, understand. Uh -huh. But when we, when we get to events, he would get a nice anxiety, get stressed, uh -huh. so he would, like, I don't know if he forgot things or I don't know what happened. What would, what would you advise that person? I would advise him to start working alone. Alone? Yeah, because yeah. when he's working with you, he's, he's comfortable. Yeah. The, the comfort he has with you. He's not going to have it in the exam. You're not going to write anything. So once he can create an exam environment on his own, he's going to get used to that also, and then he's going to start coming down to the exam also. You can go see an educational psychologist. It's free also. Yeah. Where did you go? Sorry? Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? And would you say that um, with the people you were with, like your classmates and that, would you say you could be one and did it fifty percent or like one and Sorry? Would you say you could be like one and fifty percent or one and did it fifty percent, like more than what was required or extra um, Do you know what I mean? I would say yeah, I put in more than what was required. Yeah. I put in more. Yeah, two questions. Yes. Um, did you get student discount for Virgin Active? Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how did that happen? Are you just telling your student? Yeah, I'm just telling your student. They always ask for your student card. Uh, okay. How much is how much? So, a normal membership is how much? I think it's 550 and I'm paying 460. Four sixty. Four sixty. Yeah. Oh, it's four hundred. 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 Before you start to study and plan, plan, plan your study stations. So let's say um, from six to eight, you will be doing maths only, and then from eight until ten, you will do physics only. And just follow it strictly, even though you know that you have more work than the other one. But if you just commit to that, then it should work out. When did you do the other subjects? Which other subjects? Academic literature. Academic literature. No, academic literacy, it's not a lot, so you do it when you have lunch. Like, I we had an hour lunch, I don't know about you guys, but mm -hmm. an hour lunch for me was enough to actually finish all my academic literacy. Mm -hmm. Christian, um, did you work on Fridays? On Fridays, yeah, I worked every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But didn't you be like on Fridays, like, <laughs> you guys remember the video they showed you of the year, and I said sacrifice for what you want, but also you want to come to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So I was willing to sacrifice my Fridays to get what I wanted. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, talking about the time, oh, yes. 
Wow, thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you guys. I think um, he didn't explain anything, so I'm just going through the most right now. <laughs> so, um, okay guys, so some of the questions that you have, yeah, I will skip to him. I'm just going to make sure that he answers them. Yeah? Um, we cannot go any further now, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Dr. Lawrence teaches you for... Huh? Can I ask one question? He also had a question. You cut him. <laughs> you can send it. Yeah, I will make sure it's answered. Yeah. Is this a yes or no question? <laughs> 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 okay, so can we allow just yeah, two of yes, them? Right. Okay, yes or no question? Do you train him? Yeah, I do. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> What's the code that keeps you moving every day? Um, so this year I have a, a new one. So last year it was sacrifice for what you want or else what you want becomes a sacrifice. And this year what I'm, what's keeping me moving is one that um, I think it's Confucius. He said man lives two lives. The second one begins when he only realizes he has one. Just remember, man lives two lives. The second one begins when he realizes he only has one. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Um, Tabo, thank you for coming.